Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I want to go over um, different aspects of fonts in a little course I'm going to call Fonts 101. And what I'm going to teach you about is the different types of fonts and the different names and terminology that are used in uh, what's called typography. And typography is just basically when you're using text to type out things and uh, that's basically that covers all of the stuff that I'm going to try to go over with you so when you're um, typing and everything there is what's known as a font and a font is a specific um, set of styles and um, different parts of uh, a type that come together and just make one specific looking font. So if we have this right here, we have Arial Regular. Now that is a specific font. Arial Regular Bold Italic. If I make it that, if I make it that, Arial Bold Italic, that is a different font than Arial Regular. But they are all part of something called a typeface or yeah a typeface a typeface is basically what we call a font the name of a font so we've got Arial and that is the typeface Arial regular is a font Arial italic is a font and Arial bold italic um, narrow if we added all those together that's still a different font from Arial italic or whatever so hopefully that made sense to you there are a couple different um, types of fonts and it's important to know them because some are used utilized better in web or television or things and you can't use certain ones in uh, certain programs so let's go over that now. We've got what are called serif typefaces and sans serif typefaces. And then there's also script. So what we've got is a sans serif typeface is this right here, like Arial here. Notice that the, the letters are crisp at the ends. They don't have any twirlies at the ends of them or anything like that. If we come down here and look at a serif font, which is right here below, and this font is called Sylph, Sylphane, you can see like these little uh, things on the edges that come down and at the bottom, these little lines, these are called serifs. And this is called a serif font. So the little uh, lines at the bottoms of everything those are called serifs and they come down on the S and they come up on the S right there. So those are the two main categories of typefaces, serif and sans serif. So a lot of times when you're reading something with a lot of text in it, you're going to be seeing that a serif font like this one right here is going to be used because studies have found that the serifs on the fonts uh, make them easier to read. When you're watching like a television commercial or something like that and some fonts pop up, you're probably going to see them as sans serif fonts. That's because they look uh, more modern and nicer. They, look, they feel like a little more clean. And then um, the other font that I wanted to go over with you is a script font. So let me see if I can find one of those real quick. And the script fonts basically look like cursive. Here's one, Vivaldi. And the script fonts pretty much basically just look like cursive letters. They're fancy. Um, let's see if I can find another one that's uh, pretty. Let's see. Here's another. Oh, wait. Here's one. This one looks good. This one's called Palace Script MT. And we'll just type in fonts. And yeah, they're pretty fancy and everything like that. And sometimes they're hard to read. So they're only really used on things like wedding invitations or um, 
I don't know, other things that you want to look like really fancy. And people don't use a lot of them because they get hard to read. Now, if all this doesn't um, sound confusing, it gets even more confusing. There's two basic types of fonts after this. One is called scalable and the other is called bitmapped. And most of the time you're going to see scalable fonts. Um, scalable fonts are also known as outline font, if you ever hear someone say that, but most of the time people say scalable. And what they are is they're um, based on a mathematical, mathematical equation, kind of like um, vectors. And it creates an outline to form the letters and then it fills them in with a color and this allows the font to be um, altered so that it has any size or any um, font size or anything like that that um, you want so if we look at our fonts and I just click on like a font or something like that Let's see, let me get the right oh I gotta have my font tool selected and I bring down our different font uh, typefaces here you can see that there's these little um, symbols next to them. We've got O's, we've got T's, and then some of these won't even have anything next to them. And I'll tell you what those are. So we've got these ones with TT, and those are called true types. Or um, there's the next one below it with the O's. Those are called open types. These are both scalable fonts and um, doesn't really matter too much what you have um, if you wh which ones you pick they're both fine just you just know that they're scalable fonts and then you've got what are called uh, bitmap fonts and they consist of a set of dot patterns for each letter and or a number for that matter so if I pick something like this font let's change it up and I just lost it. Let me see if I can find another one. We've got this quarry right here. And you can see how these are. They're like pixel, pretty pixelated. And these ones are like the bitmap fonts. We've got fixities. You can see how those are. And um, I saw some other ones. Here we go. But you can see how these are and what they look like. They're uh, blocky and everything like that. So, um, pretty much use, depending on what you want to use, both are fine. You can use both of them uh, either way. And if you're going for like a retro look or maybe like a digital kind of look, go ahead and use these kind of um, fonts that look like this. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop here with um, what I've been going over in the fonts. I don't want to go too crazy and confuse everybody because there's a whole bunch, there's actually a bunch of other font terminology that you can learn about which some of it is um, by all means it's just basically useless to know and it wouldn't be worth con uh, confusing everybody but if you really want to check it out go into uh, Wikipedia and type up typeface and look at that and you can read about the different typefaces you can read about the history and stuff like that and um, knowing about like the history and the different typefaces and what goes with what and everything like that will help you to being a better designer and knowing what to use correctly so that the readers or your viewers can feel um, their eyes can feel uh, like the best I guess you can say to read and then Doing stuff like that, making them feel good, making their eyes feel settled and everything like that keeps them reading longer. So they'll stay on your like website longer or they'll look at your design longer and get more information off of it. So those are just like, that's just like some science and stuff like that. But I'm going to end the tutorial now. So hopefully you guys learned something about the fonts. Um, go ahead and rewatch the video if it, um, you got confused and uh, just keep in, keep in mind some of the points that I was letting you know. So I'd like to thank you guys for uh, watching the tutorial. Be sure to uh, check out buckysroom.org for some more tutorials that I have. And we have the whole Photoshop series on there. And be sure to subscribe and like 
uh, the videos to get some more videos in the future. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and you all have a good one.